How to make Windows 2000 bootable USB drive with Win Setup from USB. In this video, I'm gonna use this version to make a Windows 2000 USB drive. First of all, I need to run it as an admin. Now we are ready to go. Let's insert the USB drive. I suggest using a proper USB drive. For example, if you use an SD card and a card reader, it might not work as expected. Here is the USB drive that I'm going to work on. If you can't see, click refresh. Normally you can proceed to tickets and locate the installer, but you might end up with a fail that says could not install Grub for DOS MBR, this sort of stuff. To fix that, we can click on Buddhist. Process MBR, then select Grub for DOS, but I can't do so apparently. You face this kind of issue, especially if you have ever formatted your USB drive in a MacBook. Don't worry, let's deal with it together. Go to the Parts Manage, select the drive, go to Repartitioning, choose this one with Single Partition. File system, NTFS, volume label, I'll keep it as default. Start LBA, let's say 2048. I tried the default value and it didn't work. Then click OK. Make sure you have a backup on the important file on the USB disk. Then click OK. Now the USB drive is being formatted. You can see the progress at the top here. Repartitioning is completed. So now I can go process MBR. The grub for DOS option is available for me to choose. Click it and click install slash config. I'm gonna keep everything as default and save to disk. All right, it's pretty quick. Now I'm ready to make my Windows 2000 installation USB. Take it, then navigate to the installation CD. Here. And select folder. Accept the agreement. And let's go. It's gonna take a few minutes. I'll fast forward to the point when it's done. All right, job done. Let's see what the final USB drive looks like. Let's see if there's anything wrong with it. Available space has reduced. The setup files are here. Looks good. I'm gonna pull out my USB drive and plug it into one of my old computers. Oops. All right. All right, now I open up my old computer, go into the BIOS, adjust boot priority so that the USB drive starts up first. Save change and exit. All right, I'm not pressing any button. Now I can see a fancy boot menu. On the menu, there is a Windows 2000 option. It's a good sign. Hit the enter button. Here is the first part of Windows setup and the second part of Windows setup. Let's see the first part and see if the installer can boot up. Cool. The Windows 2000 setup loads up, so it means my USB drive is working. After a while, I'll quit the installer.
That's pretty much it. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.